नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर आर टी गोरसे आई एम प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेडिसिन एट बीजे गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड ससून जनरल हॉस्पिटल पुणे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी समथिंग अबाउट द कोविड नाइन्टीन डिसीज इन्फॉर्मेशन ट्रीटमेंट एंड मैनेजमेंट वी हैव बीन ट्रीटिंग एंड वी हैव बीन फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर कोविड नाइन्टीन डिसीज फॉर लास्ट वन ईयर एंड फोर मंथ बाय नाउ एवरीबडी नो that this is the disease that is caused by SARS-2 new emergent coronavirus and it was first recognized in Wuhan Hubei province China in the December 2019 this SARS CoV-2 positive sense single stranded rna virus that is contagious in humans it is transmitted from both symptomatic as well as asymptomatic people and it is transmitted by close contact through respiratory droplets or by direct contact with infected person or by contact with contaminated objects and surfaces or by aerosols incubation period varies from 5 to 7 days but it can be as maximum as 14 days and the contagious period it is 1 to 3 days from the symptom onset and can be 8 days from the onset of any symptom from the 1 to 3 days before the onset of the symptoms and 8 days from the onset of the symptoms any symptom can be a contagious period if you see pathologically in this particular individuals who are suffering from this covid-19 disease basically three or four important things are happening pathologically one is there is a massive and uncontrolled inflammatory response and that is caused by pro and anti inflammatory cytokine dysregulation and because of this massive and uncontrolled inflammatory response there is extensive alveolar and interstitial inflammation vascular endothelial inflammation myocardial inflammation and inflammation can be there in some other organs also including pancreas including kidneys so it can be a stage where the inflammation that is there in almost many of the organs in the body this is the first thing that is happening and why we are supposed to know this thing because this is the pathological alteration that is in the body in the organs we have to take care of this uncontrolled and massive inflammation that is there when we will be treating this particular individuals another thing that is happening in this particular individuals is there is a endothelial cell damage of the vascular tree and specifically the vessels of the pulmonary circulation also the vessels of the other vasculature vessel other vasculature is also getting affected and there is endothelial cell damage because of this endothelial cell damage there is there occurs the thrombosis and this thrombosis can be microvascular thrombosis or macrovascular thrombosis is not only the small vessels those will be getting thrombosed but also the medium sized vessel those also could be getting thrombosed in this particular individuals because of this particular thing because of the two things those are happening one is the thrombosis and second one is the hyperinflammation in the alveoli and the interstitium basic defect that is happening is the ventilation perfusion mismatch and ultimately the patient is landing into refractory ards once the hypoxemia sets in what is happening is the vicious cycle begins there is hypoxemia there is activation of the coagulation cascade because of the activation of the coagulation cascade there is a thrombosis because of the thrombosis there is vascular problem because of which again the hypoxemia is developing so this is a vicious cycle that goes on and on in this particular individuals and lastly what is happening in this particular individuals is the secondary infection nowadays we are finding that not only the bacterial infection on top of basic viral disease that is there on top of it so many bacteria are creating problem in this particular individuals not only in the lungs but also in some other organs like say urinary tract infection or could be in the lungs also the secondary pneumonias those are developing these pneumonias could be a bacterial pneumonias and we are finding nowadays that even the aspergillosis or the mycormycosis is developing in this particular individuals so these are the pathological alterations those are happening in this particular patients of the covid 19 disease these things are happening and these things are very very important to know about because when we will be dealing when we will be managing this particular patient patients we have to take care of all these pathological components those are there we have to take care of the inflammatory response that is there we have to take care of the thrombosis that is happening in this particular individuals we have to diagnose that it is a hypercoagulable state we have to take care of the ventilation perfusion mismatch and ards or the refractory ards that is developing and we are supposed to 
stop the cascade we were supposed to stop the vicious cycle that that is happening because of the hypoxemia and we are supposed to take care of the secondary infections those are developing in this particular individuals that can be the fungal infections